is Cindy from the William B. Carlin Memorial Library, and today we're going to read the book, The Bear in the Book. It was written by Kate Banks, pictures by George Hallen Slevin, and this is from the Farrar Strauss Giroux Publishing, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. Once there was a book, it was square with words and colorful pictures and it lived on a shelf with many other books. It belonged to a little boy, and it was his favorite book. When it was time for a story, the boy took the book from the shelf. He opened it and looked at the pictures. Then he handed the book to his mama. She spread it across her lap. The boy cuddled up next to her. The book was about a big black bear who went to sleep for the winter. Do bears really sleep all winter long? asked the boy. Yes, his mother said. They hibernate. The boy turned the page. The bear was munching on berries and leaves. He was fattening himself up for the winter. Then he gathered twigs and carried them into his den. He is making a soft bed said the boy's mother. The boy turned the page. The bear had curled himself up into a ball. He was bedding down where he could stay until spring. Sleep, big black bear, said the boy's mother. Shh, said the boy. Making him a bed for the winter, isn't it? Snowflakes began to fall across the pages of the book. The snow sat snugly in the boughs of the trees. The boy could almost feel it. Snow is cold, he said. He nestled closely against his mother. I like snow, he said. Winter settled like a big hush, read the boy's mother, and the big black bear slept. Shh, said the boy. So the bear's falling asleep. Ask me. He's begun his hibernation for the winter. Life went on outside the bear's den. Rabbits hopped through the snowdrifts, the trees shivered, and the wind blew its icy breath across the fields. The boy found animals hidden in the pictures, a deer, a rabbit, and a fox. Do you all see the deer and the rabbit and the fox? Then he pointed to the children gliding across the ice. The lake froze into a frosty mirror, read his mother. I'd like to skate, said the boy. When you're bigger, said his mother. So they're not skating, aren't they? The boy touched the sharp corners of the book. Then he climbed onto his mama's lap. He felt the soft cotton of her shirt. She wrapped her arms around him and she turned the page. The sun was shining above the forest. Yellow, said the boy, smiling at its bright round face. Blue, he said, touching the sky. Red, said Mama, pointing to a pair of mittens. And black, said the boy, pointing to the sleeping bear. Sleep, big black bear, said his mother.
Along came a rumbling snow plow. Someone chopped wood for a fire, but the bear did not wake. So he's sleeping, even with all that noise going on, isn't he? Mama turned the page again. Smoke spiraled from chimneys, writing messages across the sky. In the house is a warm fire, a table, a chair, and a bed, read the boy's mama. My bed is warm too, said the boy, yawning. His eyes begin to feel heavy. Now he turned the page. The trees had shrugged the snow off their backs. Winter had crept off like a weary visitor, but the big black bear was still sleeping. Shh, said Mama, turning another page. Crocuses popped up through the earth. A fox drank from a pond. I'm thirsty, said the little boy. His mother got him a glass of water. The boy held the book. He listened to the sound the pages made when he turned them back and forth. Shh, he said to the sleeping bear. The boy drank his water. Do you think the bear gets thirsty, he asked. No, answered his mother. He doesn't eat or drink the whole winter. He must be hungry when he wakes up, said the boy. His mother nodded. He is very hungry, she said, and very thin. The boy leaned his head on his, mo on his mama's shoulders. He's going to be hungry and thirsty when he wakes up, isn't he? She turned to the last page of the book. The bear was rolling over in his den. The warm wind was tickling his back. Spring had arrived. Wake up, big black bear, wake up, said the boy's mama. So spring is coming, isn't it? The bear got to his feet. He crossed the page and walked out into the sunshine. But the little boy's eyes had closed. So the bear's woken up, hasn't he? Now the little boy was sleeping. His mama tucked him into bed. She closed the book and kissed him goodnight. Sleep, little boy. Sleep, she said. So I finished his book about the sleeping black bear, didn't I? I hope you enjoyed our book. Remember, be safe and be kind. Thank you.